Good afternoon. A man in his 60s has died after being rescued from the sea off Bournemouth Pier. A major operation was launched last night involving two lifeboats and a helicopter. An 89-year-old woman has pleaded guilty to causing serious injury by dangerous driving. Seven people, including two toddlers, were injured when Margaret Heslop lost control of her car outside the Friary Centre in Guildford last night. She, October, she was given an eight-week suspended jail sentence. A dramatic video captured by a commuter shows a fire on the line at Gatwick Airport's railway station. It caused long delays heading into London this morning. It happened just after 7 o'clock and it's believed to have been caused by a fault and an electric rail. Two of the lines between London, Victoria and Brighton will remain closed for the rest of the day. A film production company has admitted two health and safety breaches after Harrison Ford broke his ankle on the set of the latest Star Wars film. The 71-year-old actor was filming at Pinewood Studios in Buckinghamshire when he was struck by a heavy hydraulic metal door. The family of a man from Guildford whose war medals were stolen while he was dying in hospital have pleaded for their safe return. His son says the sentimental value is huge. It just made us so sad and angry because I can't now hand it down to my son, who would then hand it down to his, you know, his son. So the whole episode has sort of come to a stop. Really, it's just so bad, you know, that you just can't believe it that anybody could take it. The row about cross-county rubbish ditch has taken another twist, with West Berkshire Council now appealing to the government to step in and sort out the dispute. Cash-strapped authorities have been banning residents from using local recycling centres if they don't live in the area in a bid to save money. I've written to the Secretary of State for the Environment to, because really we need government to uh, stop um, permit and cross-border charging so residents can use their local sites. It doesn't work on this uh, small level because you know we're, we're all under budget pressures. Swanage Railway Station has been transformed into a Hollywood movie set. Filming is underway for World War II film Dunkirk. Yesterday, One Direction star Harry Styles was seen on a steam train. The movie also stars Tom Hardy and tomorrow filming moves to Weymouth. How very exciting. Well, it's the glamour of the weather now. It's Simon. From cold fronts to camping, driving through Europe, Eurotunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Well, things are turning ever so slightly duller through this afternoon as the cloud thickens up from the west. Best of the brightness towards the east. Temperatures, well, not bad. 21 is 70 in Fahrenheit. But we should stay dry until tonight as the cloud continues to thicken. It's after midnight. We'll see some outbreaks of rain arrive. And yes, some of them could be on the heavy side as we head towards dawn tomorrow. Mild night, though, 15, 16, the overnight low. And it will be a bit dull and damp first thing tomorrow morning. But that rain is pushing away eastwards. We'll turn drier from the west through the morning brightening up into the afternoon. One or two showers cropping up and temperatures up to around 20 degrees. Eurotunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Well, we will bring you lots more at six o'clock this evening, so I do hope you can join Sangeeta and Luke then. But for now, from the lunchtime team, thank you for your company. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye-bye.